One small decision can change your life. One simple action can change your trajectory. You know, like Johnny, if you just if you just wouldn't have acted on that gut that you had when you met um, AJ, right? Easily for you, it's you have to you have to put yourself out there to be like, hey, listen, hey, you know, we should do something, <laughs> right? Uh, you, you could have easily just thought, oh, AJ's what a what a great dude, and and. You know, I'm going to stay in touch with them and, and slowly never stay in touch with them. Let's let's bring it back to my experience, which was, you know, feeling just totally stuck in the in the depths of the mud. There was only one person in my life that I thought of that I that I felt was inspiring. Just one person, and that was Johnny, the filmmaker. Now, I called him three times before I got through to him. The first two times he didn't pick up because he didn't know who the fuck was calling him, right? Like, and even when I did call him, it was a very kind of odd phone call. Hey, Johnny, my name is Ben. You know, anyways, we've hung out once or twice. You took my sister to prom, right? Like, I saw some of your videos that you've been posting on Facebook. This is early Facebook, 2006. So just when it was in universities. And he made these videos of him and his friends um, partying at McGill University during their frosh week. And it was just super fun and inspiring party videos. And uh, I said something along the lines of, I've seen your videos you've been posting. I, I've always wanted to make a, a video like, like that. And you know, I just wanted to throw it out there. If you ever wanted to make a, a, a video or a movie, I would love to do that. And he said, I was just in Cuba with my friend Dave and we were talking about the exact same thing. I said, great. And serendipitously, Johnny's older brother had come up to me in the bar in Victoria and been like, hey, you know, we should do something. And I knew exactly what he meant. I was like, I just talked to your younger brother. So like, it was this serendipity, but it that's what happens when you start to follow that true self, right? I don't know if you guys have experienced this and this is a little bit out there, but this is how it works. When you start to walk that path in the Buried Life poem, they call it your true original course. When you start to follow that true original course, life starts to happen for you. And these big things start to come together for you and you start to be in the flow of life because you're being your authentic self and magic starts to happen. And that's what happened with the Buried Life. And anytime I start to not listen to that true self, stuff gets hard. Life gets harder. And that could be me doing a job that I start to realize I don't love. It's not what I'm supposed to be doing. That could be in a relationship that I'm in where my partner and I are not attuned. So I'm not able to be that true self. That could be many different things. But when I start to feel that of like, why are things so hard? Or I start to feel a little bit down I think I step back. I think I think there's something that I'm doing where I'm not being true to myself. And when I start to live from that authentic place, then magic happens. Mm -hmm.